Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Asian Preview. North American wrap from Privateer FX. See here, I have the uh, Apple chart. This was, uh, we closed on the highs of the day. The earnings came out. Um, they missed on their phone shipments. Um, and the revenues missed a bit. They did announce a $100 billion buyback program and hiked their dividend 16%. So the stock went up, spiked up, but I think the high was up in here. It's not going to show up in these charts, but somewhere around 176, <clears throat> maybe a little bit higher. And uh, last I heard is it's trading back below, just below 176. So um, either way, a good beat, filled some gaps, and, uh, you know, it looks like the, you know, the, the tech stocks in general had a, had a pretty good day. Um, a lot of these earnings that you'll see a positive move in the, in the after hours session and then uh, the real tell is the the following day when institutional money comes in to, to trade it if we take a look at speaking of equities remember we drew this triangle we got the fourth touch today in the S&P mini pretty much right down to that line with a reversal higher day, albeit, you know, slightly, slightly higher on, on the day. You know, maybe we go up and test the top and let this just consolidate. And, uh, you know, to me, this looks like one side or the other is going to break soon. Um, you know, we're still hanging above the 200 day and we're trading below the 100 day. So until we kind of get outside of this range, I'm not too excited. But it, it's looking like it's pretty fairly... Uh, tightly wound. NASDAQ had a good day. Um, pretty close to a bullish engulfing. Made a new low overnight and then closed up near yesterday's high. So, you know, maybe we have another run up here to this two-thirds that stopped it. Um, again, it's kind of a choppy pattern and looks like it's retracing. Um, you could draw a similar, uh, similar downtrend line from these highs. And it comes in just below today's low and the half fib. So, um, you know, if you look at the uptrend, we get a couple touches here as well. This isn't this isn't as good a line as the S and P line, but you know, here we are, just kind of in this triangle pattern. And uh, I think that the equities are going to resolve themselves sooner than later. <coughs> Oil. Let's take a look at oil. I sold some oil today. Not at great levels. As we took out this 67, 15 to 20 area. The key level to me, though, is, are these old highs right right here at uh, 66.60, 66.50. So this zone right in here. Um, if we, you know, we've been consolidating now for about 10 days after a huge move up. Let's not forget sentiment's quite high. Positioning's some of the longest positioning that the oil market, this you know, um, CFTC data has ever produced. Um, so very long, consolidating. <coughs> I do think if we, we can take out today's low and we get back through these old highs, we're gonna push back down and we'll test this uh, 100 day moving average, which comes in around 63. Um, you know, so that's like a 7 8% drop. You know, maybe you can even get a little dip down to this April low. Uh, um, so that's on our radar. Uh, let's pop over to the currencies. Uh, fairly quiet session overall. Um, even though we, we did have some decent moves, but it was very, very grindy. And as you can see here, the euro closed under the 200-day for the first time in ages. We have to go way back to April, you know, about a year ago in 2017. We have not been below the 200-day. So it's, a, you know, it's an okay, you know, we definitely breached it by, you know, what looks like 10, 10 20 points. Um, 
the dollar index, you know, had an, had another good update because dollar yen was quite bid. Cable was very heavy. Some of the this closed over the 200 day as well after topping out there two days ago. To me, this looks like it's maybe got this 94.20 high in its target. Um, cable extremely weak. Another batch of uh, this today was PMI data, weak PMI data. This thing has just been straight line down. I mean, it's massively oversold, but to me, I don't think we're going to get a bounce until we get down to this uh, this 200A, which is 135.30. Last year's close was right around 135. The figure if you see here, this was the closing price of 2017 was 135. The figure, so somewhere between 135. The figure 135.30 should lend support and we I, I would imagine we're to get a tradable bounce because um, it's just been a uh, straight line down I and mean, we've had one one up day and whatever that is looks like 10 days the other dollars followed uh, Aussie closing below 75 cents which was at the level we talked about um, where this entire parabolic uptrend started at the end of December uh, Kiwi quite weak as well you know maybe we get a test down to 69.50 another 50 points before we get a bounce dollar cad got it kind of got pushed around with uh, some nafta stuff let's see uh, dollar mex caught a bid today <coughs> had a pretty good day closed up here at uh, 1893 still respecting this 1915 fib and that high from last week uh, and then dollar yen is finally finally caught a bid. You know we've been uh, we've been long some Swiss yen, which isn't really working because uh, dollar Swiss has been outperforming dollar yen. But maybe dollar yen gets moving. There are some barriers at 110. We got the 200 day 110.20. Uh, you know we're a stones throw away from this 110 level. So I suspect tonight we we see see uh, higher prices. We've got the FOMC tomorrow, so maybe uh, a quieter kind of Asian London session at FOMC where we're not expecting any fireworks. Um, see how these uh, equities react after uh, Apple's big gap move higher, and uh, the long way to Tesla earnings is tomorrow after the bell. That should do it. Uh, good luck trading and. Uh, we do have some minor data coming out tonight out of New Zealand, uh, jobs data, and then we'll be waiting around all morning for the FOMC meeting. Good luck. Speak to you on uh, the European Open. Cheers.